Hey guys, Pope here. So today I'm going to do a quick uh, fire pin job on this Glock 2145. In comparison, I just have right now my Glock 19. I'm doing this job for a friend of mine. His firing pin just, uh, I guess, broke and is no longer firing or working for him. So uh, just a quick comparison. This is the Glock 19 Gen 4 and size comparison for both. This is the Glock 21, which is like the full size model of the Glock in 45. And size comparison, I mean, is a little bit ridiculous. This thing is huge compared to my nine millimeter. And don't get me wrong, I love my nine. Safety check. Again, is just this thing right here is a beast shooting the 45 ACP man stopper that thing is a beast again safety checked and ready to go but let's get to what this video is about um, this gun here again is the Glock 21 45 and the firing pin seems to be fouled and no longer working Thanks to an unnamed company. I wish they would have left something in the box. Um, we're going to go ahead and put a brand new firing pin in. And get it back on the freaking range. Uh, for those of you that don't know. How the heck did they wrap this thing? Okay. Well, that would be a brand new Glock 21 firing pin and it is very nicely polished very nicely polished again thank you to the on name company <laughs> um, simple breakdown if you guys have seen any of my videos before a simple breakdown on the Glock so uh, we're going to take the slide off the frame, pull out your, your spring, set it off to the side, pull your barrel out, okay? What you're going to be left with is just your slide and its mechanics on the inside. Um, you have your firing pin, which is right here. And for any of you that know anything about your firearms or Glock specifically, that is a problem. If you're, I don't know if I can get this for you, watch. It kind of just like free floats in there. Hope you guys can hear that, but nonetheless, uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull this apart. In order to get this apart, you will need a small punch type tool. You probably do it with a screwdriver, a very small screwdriver. Uh, you wanna kind of just lift your firing pin up and there's a little plastic sleeve that encases the firing pin into the back of the slide. I'm gonna drop that down just a hair, and what I do is just kinda of slide forward after it's dropped. Sometimes you need two hands. Make sure that you keep your hand or thumb on the back after you slide it off. There's a spring in there that will pop out. Trust me, it's happened to me at least once or twice already with the 19. Uh, you're just gonna slide your firing pin in the housing right on out of the slide and just so you can see what it looks like on the inside this spring right here well, let me get my little punch this spring right here is the one I'm telling you to watch out for because it will pop out if you do not have a good hold on it just watch out for it so down to their firing pin housing mechanism it is your firing pin, which as you can see is broken or completely flat faced. Let me see if I can get a good, completely flat faced. But um, what you're gonna do here is take the pressure off of the spring and there's two C-clips or clamps, however you see. Trying to do this on camera at the same time is very, Hard and usually I don't have any problem in doing this. There you go. Kind of, uh oh, don't lose those. 
kind of just clamp it in between your fingers and press down. Then your spring comes right off. And where'd the other half go? Well, I'll find it here in a second. That's kind of the C clamp that's kind of holding it on there. And pull the sleeve right off. And there goes your firing pin. Nice and pretty, right? It's like a semi polish on it. It's not really a great polish in comparison to the new one, the old one. Great polish. He's going to be really happy with the way this thing works after I put it in. So, to put it back in, you just take the plastic round sleeve that has a crucifix cut into it. You slide that right on in. And just kind of hold it there with your thumb in place at the bottom. And just slide your spring all the way back on. Okay. And this is going to be the tricky part. Getting the tension off the spring. Well, putting tension on the spring to put the C-cups back in. So, in order to put the C-clips back in, you got to pull down the main spring, okay? And it's going to have a nice little pressure to it. Again, this is what your firing pin works off of. So, you're going to slide that down. I can do this on camera, okay? We're going to do it this way. You're going to push down against something hard and try to, there you go, get that down in there. One side. Nope, maybe not. I'm not gonna lie, this is a very good polish. This thing is slippery as all hell. I wish I would have had a company send me at least a business card in the damn box. I would have gave you guys a shout out. No shout outs today though. Sorry guys. And then magic. Make sure you get it all the way up there because if it gets up there halfway like that, it may not work. Make sure you fully seat that spring all the way around. And it may be a little difficult the first time, but you want it to be fully seated. Don't mind the struggle that I had on camera. It is very, very polished and very slippery. Limited friction. I mean, it is an awesome firing pin. So what you want to do now is take your firing pin, the spring, and housing and just drop it right back into where its normal location would be. And boom. you're going to take your back plate cover and just kind of push down on that uh, plastic housing for the firing pin. Just kind of push it down with your thumb. Slide your back plate just over the plastic housing with the crucifix for your firing pin. And then you're going to slide that up to just where your spring is. And then that's when your punch comes back into play. And you take your punch and compress that spring without trying to fire it at yourself. Compress that spring and snap it right back into place. Boom. And there you go firing pin complete and just so that you can see I don't know if you can that little silver thing right here you see it just kind of shining in there that's where your firing pin should sit and after you hit your safety it should drop right into place for those of you that don't know this is your safety plunger which activates your or not activates but controls your firing pin so when you pull up you hear that click on your firing pin you push down it releases the tension on your firing pin which initially fires your bullet up down up down okay so then all you do is simply reassemble your gun yeah. 
Make sure everything's back into place. Slide everything back together. And magic. Every time. These, I know you're probably looking at them, but they're just metal OEM Glock sights. So again, this was the firing pin that I just pulled out of it. In all honesty, it looks like a dummy pin. The way this is just smoothed out. I don't know if I can get you guys a really good clear. Uh, let's see, focus. I mean, this thing is completely smoothed. Not a nipple, a hair, nothing. It's done. So, now you're ready to go back and fire 45 auto at the range and have some fun. But, just for another quick comparison for you guys, if you are out there and wondering what the size comparison is, this is a 40, 45 caliber slug or round nose steel case ammo. And this is your 9mm hollow point unicorn in comparison. I mean, that thing, 45 auto, that thing is a beast compared to this 9. But ask me any day, I will take this 9 over that 45. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little uh, tutorial video on how to change your firing pin in any Glock. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe.